I got an ad for Timu, which as everybody knows, is that a uh, Chinese company that's like a uh, very cheap, but it's also like a multi-level marketing scheme almost in terms of its like referral system and getting free stuff. There's an ongoing theory that they can sell stuff so cheap because when you download the app, they're just selling your data essentially. And that's the whole business is that you download the app, get other people to download the app. They sell you cheap shit that's built in a sweatshop and then they get to sell your data. Facebook's doing that too, so. Oh well. I got an ad for like a weird t-shirt and I don't remember which one of these is the weird t-shirt, but I just out of shock went to the Timu website to look at it. I stumbled upon just a wide variety of absolutely batshit insane t-shirts. I wanted to start with this t-shirt because while it is not a new statement for conservatives to be like, you hate cops, the next time you need help call crackhead. That's not a new statement. I've seen that a bunch of times. What's fascinating to me is all of the conservative stuff that's being sold on this Timu website. It just feels ironic considering conservatives are anti-globalization in terms of economy. And they also hate it when the Chinese government steals American data. The fact that this conservative Blue Lives Matter shirt has sold allegedly 25,000 to people who I would deem conservative is uh, very funny to me. My uh, response to that shirt um, just is, yeah, I would call a crackhead. The crackhead would actually solve the problem, wouldn't shoot my dog or put my black neighbors in danger. So I'd actually trust the crackhead more, uh, truthfully. So other than random American political shirts that have no business being sold on a Chinese website that's mining American data. Really odd and weird shirts um, that I don't know what to make of personally. And I see a little silhouette of a man on my shirt on my shirt and he's holding a mango. I can't tell if that shirt goes hard or not. I'm stuck in a state of confusion um, where I don't know if this was made post ironically or if somebody just thought that that was silly and whimsical, apparently 9,000 have been sold. I don't know how truthful those numbers are. What made me laugh about this particular shirt, I don't understand how coffee relates to your Christian religion in any way. I like to think a bunch of Lutherans got together or something and we're like, I we need to make a Christ acronym out of the word coffee so we can weed out the Mormons. I like to think that there's like just some like inter-Christian beef going on that created this shirt because otherwise it does not make sense to me. I like to call um, this part of the video shirts that I'm glad people buy because they tell me that you're probably a bad person to befriend and I should stay several hundred feet away from you at all times. I was taught to think before I act, so if I smack the shit out of you, rest assured, I've thought about it and I am confident in my decision. That just seems like a, a warning label, like a, like a threat. I don't think we need a compound sentence on a shirt. I'm against compound sentences on shirts. Call me anti-fun. Call me anti whimsy all you want. Um, this is too much. I, I don't need to be like staring at your boobs and stomach to read your shirt. Trusting people has made me the asshole I am today. What's sending me is the the, the fiery skull. Um, <laughs> why would almost 5,000 people buy this shirt instead of investing in a good therapist? Buddy, as a person that's been threatening to go off grid because I hate people so much, I think you just need to get a hobby. Now, if it just had the skull, with the fire on it, goes kind of hard. On the outside, I may appear to be a rude, sarcastic jerk, but just like an onion, when you peel off more layers, you find the same thing every time and cry. A hundred thousand plus people have bought this shirt, and that concerns me because, once again, we don't need compound sentences on shirts. I don't want to be staring at your tits for 30 seconds uh, too long. Second of all, I don't understand the concept of wearing a shirt that essentially acts as a warning label to other people that you suck as a person. I, I mean, I guess it's good for me because then I can weed you out pretty easily. Oh, you're wearing that shirt? I'm gonna get out of here. You know what I think would make this shirt better? Let's put a picture of Shrek on there. 
feel free to take my idea. Put Shrek on that shirt. No, don't care. Shh, copyright. It doesn't matter. Put Shrek on the shirt. Now we're getting into the segment of the video that I like to call Gen X My Wife Shirts. Gen X have this thing where like they're not necessarily boomers about the my wife stuff all the time, but they're also not necessarily like the young millennials that are like, I love my wife all the time. There's like this in-between and that's what these shirts represent is this weird in-between. I love my wife, but sometimes I want to square up. I understand it's a joke, but also like if you ever are like, I want to do a boxing match with my wife because she makes me angry, perhaps perhaps you don't love your wife, and perhaps uh, that shirt is a sign that she should divorce you. Love it when my wife lets me buy more guns. We're just going to assume this is right-wing gun culture. Aren't right-wingers all about, you know, being a man and, you know, I'm the head of the house and all that? Why is, if that's the case, then why is your wife telling you when you can and cannot buy more guns? Why is this uh, a shirt-worthy announcement? Like, is this like a, a common theme in your relationship where you're like, I want more guns, and she's like, you can't have more guns. I, I want to know the dynamics that created this shirt and why a hundred thousand people allegedly understand this dynamic. Five things you should know about my wife. She is my queen. She's a little bit crazy and scares me sometimes. She can't control her mouth. She has anger issues. Mess with her and they'll never find your body. You know, at first, I was like, sir, I think maybe you're the victim. I think you should leave. But by the last one, I was like, oh, okay. They deserve each other. They need each other. Allegedly, a 100,000 people um, agree with this sentiment. I, I feel like this is an are, are straight people okay moment. If I had a husband that wore a shirt around being like, my partner is absolutely fucking batshit insane and stupid and horrible, um, but also I'm going to kill you if you touch him. I'd be like, hey, have you uh, considered that we're no longer dating? My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not the one who married me. I put this one in here because it's on a male model, which means this is an inherently gay shirt. I cannot believe we're getting my husband ask boomer jokes. Happy Pride, here's your uh, gay boomer joke shirt. I like to call this third segment t-shirts that I consider sexual harassment. I'm not reading that out loud. What do you, what, what does that mean exactly? Even if it is a dirty joke, what does that mean? Why would it be dirty? Like, why would you exclaim that on a shirt? And why would you playing with it make it dirty if i saw that in public i'd walk the other direction wouldn't want to be within 100 feet of you i think um my favorite is when i come upon uh, fishing themed sexual harassment shirts why would you say that string of words um with fish art i understand it's supposed to be a fishing joke i guess um, but it's kind of pushing it like, I get how it's supposed to be a fishing joke, I guess, but it's it's definitely, like, not a good one. I don't know. If you're gonna sexually harass me with a shirt, at least make it a good joke. I'm calling the crackhead. That one specifically feels targeted towards the reader. You're a danger to society. I don't like how the U is in all capital letters. It feels threatening. This feels like a line that would be unironically written in one of those stupid fucking dark romance books on book talk. What do you mean a hundred thousand sold? I don't trust Timu to tell the truth about these things, but if a hundred thousand men bought that shirt, I think it's over. If I see one dude wearing that in public, it's on site. I'm fucking punching you in the face. Fuck the crackhead. I, I'm the crackhead now. I'm punching you in the face. I just don't know what this one means. I don't know if this means, like, beard in the boobs. Are we naming good attributes ab about each other? I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like this shirt is supposed to be sexy. Like, it's supposed to be like a weird fucking straight breeding kink. Which, uh, once again, um, get a real fucking kink. But, like, 
To me, this shirt comes off as a condom ad. This feels like a threat. It feels like a, a dare program warning <laughs> rather than something sexy. I feel like it should be illegal to wear that one in public. That one's the worst one yet, actually. I don't think we need a bunch of uh, fishing puns about how you're fucking women on your t-shirt in public. I 100% guarantee that all 38,000 of the men that bought this have not felt the touch of a woman. In an effort to make another fishing sex joke, you've decided to proudly proclaim on your t-shirt that you maybe plan to wear in public that you make fish jizz? I don't think that this is the um, sexual prowess women are looking for. I think women just want you to know where the clitoris is, not uh, proudly proclaim that you're making fish come. The moral of the story is if a man is wearing a particularly uh, saucy shirt with a fish pun on it, your local crackhead may be able to take care of it.